All right, y'all. Um, like we said, it's going to be a little different on the, the Turo. Uh, Turo car this time. So we just uh, want to show you what we got. Um, yeah. We have been doing sports cars just because when you're on vacation, why not? Well, then we decided this time to be different. And we went with a little mid-sized SUV. SUV. Love it. Reason we did it is because we did an Uber last time. I absolutely fell in love with this car. So I wanted to see if I'd buy one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's travel around. All right, let's go around. This is a 2022. 2023. Yeah, sorry, 2023 Hyundai Palisade. Hyundai Palisade. I'm gonna let you go ahead and walk around. Let me start by saying this. Turo doesn't mean bad car, old car, beat up car. This car literally had 1,500 miles when we got it. And it's beautiful. Um, go in there with your little fancy dancies. And this is pretty cool right here. So cup holder cup and holder. then if you push this button right there it kind of pulls out and then you got storage here and you got your glove box right there you got it on your dash your like your dash screen like I don't know what that's called but you got a full navigation screen we do have holiday music on right now so it's half and half and um, you have all kinds of options with this your heat is dual heat side to side each person passenger or driver also rear individual CD or temperatures um, you have an option to self drive is that what it's called yeah it's kind of like a self drive yeah it holds it between the lines holds it between the lines um, I love it. I mean, it's nice. Back here, what I think is neat, so. Go ahead. You look back here, you have USB connections on each of the seats back here. It is a captain seat in the back seat. Pretty good leg room. And then this little button right here. Get this to move up and boom a full back seat that one set back like that seat is set back right there but if it wasn't there would be a lot of leg room it's nice now why did we need this you might say well here's why because we've discovered that we're old okay and because we're old we wanted more space we didn't want to have to get up in and out, in and out. <clears throat> also back here, like I was saying, you have your temperature, all that. So yeah, it's nice. You get your USB there. I don't know guys, I just love it. Then back here, and it's got an automatic. Well. Maybe it don't work when the car's on. Automatic door. And you still got quite a bit of cargo space back cargo here. Cargo space. Plus you have your second, um, your, do you see the seats there? That's how you get yeah. them down. Yeah. So that's nice. Um, it's just, it's a good sized, mid-sized V6. 
people, if you were coming with a family to travel like to Vegas or anywhere, definitely look into a Palisade. I can say that. Um, I think what gets me about this honestly is God, you will get in and talk. That way you can show them some of the front. But one thing that I like about this is well, as you can see 1,578 miles. That's the total on the vehicle. I mean, it's got all kinds of I mean, you can do the, the map, and then it's got all kinds of different things yeah. for your navigation. You got the radio, and the media. It's just got all kinds of functions. Yeah. And we don't know it all because we're just sprinting it. But it's like I told him, because I drive a 2017 Hyundai Tucson now and I will tell you that it's not my favorite vehicle but it's by far not my worst favorite either my biggest complaint with my car is the white seats okay Hyundai itself has been very good to me yes I haven't had any malfunctions or issues or anything like that right so I can't complain about that it's just the internal that I don't care for yeah. this has leather seats heated seats in front on both sides he loves that feature. I don't care for I it. Do. Um, what else is there? I mean, it, on the steering wheel, it's got like a little icon right here, and it, that's what you push to hold it in between the the lanes. Um, it does work. I kind of used a little bit. What's this? Uh, I'm not even 100 percent sure. I've never pushed it. Remember, you got to push and hold it. It's absolutely nothing when you're not moving, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Tire pressure. Those are all the gauges. It's just like mine, though. Yeah. So, I like that. And we paid less for this brand new car than we have for any other vehicle that we've rented. Very, very true. Um, um, total price on this was $536. $36. I think. For five days. Yeah. It was five day rental. Um, and we're going to do kind of a comparison, talk more about yeah. that in detail. But for $536, it gives us the ability to go do anything that we want to do in Vegas with no hesitations. There is a mileage limitation of like 800 six, yeah, or Yeah, it's eight, 800 on this one. Some of them are six, some of them are five. So just pay attention to that so, if you're renting. Yeah. Um, but hands down, this is the nicest one we've had. Yeah, this is a brand new vehicle. I mean, it's, it's totally brand new. Brand new. So it's the <laughs> nicest that we've had. Um, it rides really comfortable. And I don't have anything bad to say about it. I don't either. Uh, it's got a good ride, good drive. It, it drives very well. So, so yeah. Um, we just kind of wanted to do this a little bit different. Because we do, like I said, we've done the sports cars every time. Yeah. Last time we also got a GMC X. Yukon. Uh, um, XL. Uh, yeah. Um, so we wanted to be different this time, and by gosh, we are. Yep, we are. And I can tell you that if I'm going to buy a car, I would purchase this. Yeah, yeah. So if anybody's in the market for, you know, a Hyundai Palisade, maybe this will sway your, your decision making. There. Yeah, because it's nice. It's it, really is, nice. it is a nice vehicle. And I know there's more options that we, because the, the Uber guy that drove us one night, he had so much to show us. Yeah, he knew what everything was He had was on like his, his own pictures and yeah. stuff like that. I mean, it was nice. Yeah, it was nice. Um, but I'll say this. This is a third row. Our our Yukon that we rented, remember they didn't have any leg room in the back. Right, right. They do here. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you'd have to set the seat up. That one's laid down. But there's tons of room back there, so it's not there bad. It so... If you guys are in the market for a new car or looking to rent on Turo, check it out. Definitely check it out. Definitely worth your money, worth your time. No complaints here. And for a per day fee, it's not a bad deal. It's it's pretty reasonable 
as far as what you would get from Turo. Now, if you wanted to go rent a car from like Hertz or Enterprise or whatever, it would be way more expensive. Yeah. So. Yeah. But like I said, we're going to break that down later. Yeah. We're, we're going to do a separate Turo video talking about it, the Turo app itself. And what I'll say is this if in this car, we could go to the Grand Canyon. We could mm -hmm. go to the Mead, the Mead Lake. We could go sightseeing. We could go do it all. And if we had five more people, we would still be comfortable. Yep. You know? Sure. So there's sure. that. I have nothing but good to say on this Turo. Very true. So with that, you got anything else? Nope. So please like. Share. Subscribe. And hit the bell. Ding, 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 ding. For future notifications. And we'll be back. Bye, guys. Bye.